All right, today we're going to be demonstrating an app called Gmote. It allows you to control your media center PC, or any PC for that matter. And uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, we've got the computer plugged into the TV because that's one of the main benefits of using Gmode is controlling it uh, while you're sitting on your couch, like old Dustin over here. Use it to uh, control your MP3 player, music that you have, really anything about your computer uh, without having to have an external keyboard or mouse. Your phone will do it all. So we're going to start by pulling up uh, Gmode's website. We have to download a client for the computer side. So if you head on over to gmote.org, we'll take you to this page here. Pretty simple setup, three steps, one, two, three. We've already got the first one done, which is to install the uh, client on your Android phone. Any Android phone will work. Second step is what we're going to do now install the server on your computer and as you can see on this page they've got it available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. We're actually running Windows 7 on this box and even though it doesn't say that it's compatible uh, over here it actually is. So if you've got a Windows 7 PC, laptop, uh, whatever it may be, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. So just download the installer, hit run. It'll walk you through the setup. It's pretty quick. It's a small file. And there we go. So it's installed. We'll go ahead and uh, close out of our browser since we don't need that anymore. And go ahead and launch the app, which is already running actually down here in the toolbar. This is all you'll see as far as an instance of the program. Uh, there's no actual user interface outside of this short or this menu shortcut. Uh, you can configure a password so that if you've got multiple people in the household that all run Android phones, uh, you, you don't have other people controlling your TV or your computer for you. So for this case, we'll just uh, use a password of test. And There we go. We, we actually don't have a, a regular keyboard hooked up right now, so we're just going to use the on-screen keyboard here. Just do T-E-S-T. -E just for simplicity's sake. So we've already got the client running, or the server running on the computer, and at which point we'll switch over to the phone. And uh, using an HTC Droid Incredible here, I've already downloaded the Android app to do that. You just go to the market, type in Gmote, and uh, download the program. It's free. So here you go. When you open it up, it's got the remote control look and feel to it. And uh, this will allow you to actually stream music that's on your computer to your phone and vice versa. So if you've got a massive music library, video library, or music library um, on your computer, play it through your phone anywhere connected over the Wi-Fi network. So let me just make sure, yep, we're connected to Wi-Fi. So we'll open the Gmode app, we'll hit menu, and then find server. And there we are, There, there's the computer we've got running. So we'll connect to that one. We'll hit menu again and go to the touchpad. Tap to connect. There it is, it's asking for the password, and of course we're gonna type in test because that's what we set up earlier. Hit okay. It'll finish connecting to the computer, and if you look over at the TV screen, there we go. As I move my finger around, the mouse follows. And so for uh, just a quick demonstration, we're going to go ahead and launch Winamp. Just a simple MP3 player. And uh, fire up a song here. Double tap on the uh, trackpad to select. Push me and then don't touch me till I can get my... So there we go. We don't need to go too much further. You get the idea. But uh, 
big benefit to that is being able to sit back and relax. You can use it in any any fashion. If you've got uh, videos on the computer, use it to control those. Your web browser. Uh, one thing that I didn't show, just in the MP3 example though, is how you can use the on-screen keyboard um, on the phone itself. So to do that, I'm going to use it to fire up just Notepad here. And uh, here's Notepad. So let's get that fired up. And then uh, down on the phone, if you notice in the top left-hand corner, you've got the uh, on-screen keyboard. You tap that. That will, of course, load your keyboard. If you've got a G1 or any phone that has a physical keyboard, you can slide that open to use the physical keyboard. On this one, obviously, it's just an on-screen. So we'll just type um, test keyboard. And if you see in the background, as I type on here, it shows up on the screen. So pretty beneficial. You can surf the web, uh, type up emails, use your Facebook, control your MP3 player, stream videos, anything really you do on your computer, you can ultimately control through here. One thing that took me a little bit of figuring out, I'll share with you, uh, to save you the trouble though, is to right click, you just simply hold down. Of course, the entire screen on the phone is the, is the trackpad. So to right click, you simply hold your finger down and that'll bring up a right click menu that of course will be different depending on what application you're within. So that's really it. Uh, there's a few other features that are built into the Gmote. You can stream music as I was talking about earlier uh, from the phone to your computer or vice versa. And that's the app that you saw, or that's the screen that you saw when we loaded the remote here. Uh, if you click on remote, you've got of course your forward, your rewind, pause, play, stop, volume up, volume down, and mute. And I don't have this one configured right now, but if you set up your media library, on the computer, then um, you can stream all that to your phone. We're just connected to the Wi-Fi network, so anywhere you are in the house, your music can follow you uh, on your phone. So pretty, uh, pretty neat feature there. That's going to do it for today. Uh, for other videos, for more information, for a step-by-step -step tutorial, check out ictdroids.com. Uh, this is Mike signing off.